you guys. Hey, Anastasia. <laughs> yes, you are the first one. How are you guys doing today? I feel like I'm a little bit crazy with the hair today. So we have to excuse messy hair. It was not, it was not wash Marlena's hair day. <laughs> Anyways, let me try to get this camera up so you guys can see a little bit better. And then we will get right into our class. And my lips are a little bit dry today. So we are going to fix that too. And you guys know I always start with some prep on my um, oil. I'm just using rose hip seed oil today. Hi, Ricky. Hi, Sai. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing okay. There we go. My lips are so dry today. How's everyone's week going? I like to take the first minute or two just to say hi to everyone and let everyone kind of hop on and all of that great stuff. Hi, Crystal. Yay, you finally made a live. <laughs> hi, Amathea. Short Blondie 911. I like that. That's a cute username. <laughs> I've got my water today. And then I'll show you guys uh, some of the stuff that I've got ready for you and I'm especially winded. I will, um, I'll show you the baby belt for today. I know in the, in the beginning it's kind of casual. I just want to make sure everyone gets on first and then we can start class. So I'll show you the baby bump. We are 35 weeks, almost 35, a few more days. There's, hey, she's getting big. <laughs> this is the only time that I will ever show my stomach very proudly on a live. <laughs> I'm feeling pretty good. I'm a little, um, this week was kind of rough. So that's why I'm a little bit not as put together as I would like. I haven't been sleeping well because she's so big now and she's kicking a lot. It keeps me up at night and I've had a lot of stomach pulling pains, which if anyone's pregnant, let me know if that's normal because I was kind of stressing. I was like, are these early contractions? It's too early, <laughs> but we're going to make it work the best that we can, but I am very, very winded today because she's really sitting high. I'm hoping she drops more this week so I can, so I can breathe. <laughs> Pregnancy is hard. My love to, my son loved to kick only at night. Yes, I feel you. She kicks anywhere between 11 o'clock at night and like four in the morning. I am just like, hi, Brandy from Detroit. I hope Detroit's staying safe. That's where our, our warehouse is on, not far from Detroit. And it's crazy out there with with the virus. It's insane. So hi, Jen Marie, Exodias, Brandy, Rose Winters. You're 35 weeks too. Are you ready? I'm so ready. <laughs> ready for this baby to be born. But I'm also terrified. It's my first one. So if anyone has any positive birth stories to tell me, please comment in the comments below because I'm trying not to get severe anxiety over it. It's my husband and my mom keep laughing. They're like, millions of women have done this before you. I was like, I know, but I'm still scared. <laughs> Do they feel like Braxton Hicks? They feel a little bit like it, but it's up top. It's like, it feels like my stomach's contracting right under my lady bits or not my, you know, the tatas. I can't believe I'm saying this on a video. It's right up here, just contracting a lot. And I'm just like, Lord help us. <laughs> Anyways, let me get started on the class for you guys. So we are doing all about eye colors today. So I wanted to do um, three different looks for you. I'm going to look a little crazy because I'm going to have one eye like this, one like that. We'll take off. I'm going to do three looks for you guys today. Something really easy that's for every day. And I want to go over a little bit of color theory as usual to talk about what eyeshadows you wear for each eye color. So I have brown kind of hazel eyes. So I'm going to start with that color first. Now I know it's not on the color wheel. You know what? I'm going to pull this off. We're just going to use this like this. Okay, there is my color wheel. So brown, as you see, isn't really on here. It's technically neutral. So any color honestly will work, but I do like wearing colors with brown eyes. Um, you can wear brands too, but it tends to look the same. It tends to blend in really well. So I like doing purples, um, plums, teals, silver, anything that's a color looks really good with brown eyes. And purple I usually go to because it's kind of the safest of all the colors. So I have the eye palette here. This is the one, um, the nine, well, we sell these on the site. This is the purple, the brown eye palette. <laughs> so let me kind of swatch just roughly for you guys because I have a lot of eye colors I want to get to today. But do you see some of those tones there? Let me, um, let's do it down here and hopefully you guys can see. But see how it's just light purples. I have a few neutrals in there, but I have, um, some plums too. This is Mystical, Curfew, Back to the Fuchsia. Um, what else is in here? I will pull it up for you guys. 
So that's kind of the color palette that I like for brown eyes, just because purples are wearable. So let's start with that. I'm just going to do a quick and easy look. And then I want to show you guys a little bit of trends that are going on for 2020. And then I have a video coming up. I think it's next week is eyeshadow trends for 2020. So what I'm seeing is us kind of getting away from, um, you know, super cut crease looks, even though those are still Still fun to do I still do them um, but it's more about strategic placement so it's going back to more simple looks that are very almost editorial but for every day so I'm going to take one of the colors I'm going to do um, this guy right here I love this color so much this is back to the fuchsia you guys will see that I wear that a lot and then the one next to it is getting figgy with it so these two I like mystical really pretty too so we're going to kind of focus on those three today so I'm just gonna take um, a kind of dome brush like this. I'm gonna go in with Back to the Fuchsia. And instead of doing this whole really crazy dramatic look, I wanna do strategic placement. So I've got, you know, my eyes are already prepped. I've got a little bit of powder down. You guys know that I just take a, a sponge, a sponge, a dome brush like this. <laughs> and I go in with a color that's close to my skin, which is like so pale. And I always set my eyes with a little bit of powder first. So can you guys see that right there? I do this so that the oil doesn't break down and it just gives me a, a smooth base to blend. If you don't have a powder down first, when you go to blend, the colors can stick sometimes and it's a little bit harder to blend. So that's why I like doing that. So Jen Marie says plums, purples, reds make my hazel eyes pop so much. Yep, it's just something about it, just super pretty on brown eyes. So I'm just doing kind of a strategic placement out here. This is back to the fuchsia. And I'm doing a very just kind of soft blended look like this. I'm not doing like crazy colors. I want everything to be very like soft and blended and we want color just in pops in certain areas. It's kind of the trend right now. Is just taking a couple shadows, just doing a very soft blended look like this. So I'm just going to keep adding color out here. You guys see how I'm blending that? My brows are off the hook today. <laughs> Will you do cool shade silvers? Yes. Cool shades actually look good with brown eyes too. So just blend that like that. So you want to take Lexi, mom? Yes. Lexi, go with grandma. Come on. Go on. Let's go Come on. Lexi. See has, uh, I'm just going to keep blending you guys. She took off this morning. I had to chase her. My pregnant butt was going down four houses down. I'm like, Lexi, Lexi. I'm like all winded. I'm eight and a half months pregnant. I was like, take her back here. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go in with this color here. This is creme brulee. If you guys prefer a neutral that's cooler, then go with this one. This is, um, this is latte as usual. Yeah. So latte as usual, I put in this palette. So that way you have a mixture of some warms, some cool purples, some warm purples. So this is a very well blended um, palette because you have cools and warms. I'm going to go with warm because I like warms on me. So I'm going to go with creme brulee. And I'm just going to put this up here. I'm feeling good, Jessica. Thank you. <laughs> I'm winded. I'm tired. I'm ready for this baby to come. But you know. <laughs> so I'm just doing a little bit of that. Let's go back in with Back to the Fuchsia. Just pop it a little bit more. And do you see how just easy this is? So easy, you don't need a ton. And then if you guys want, do you see how it's like really soft and blended? I'm just taking that brush and I'm just kind of doing this motion right here. Now, if I want a little pop in the inner corner, you can take a really tiny brush just anything. What else do I have? Actually, let's do a little kind of dome shape brush like this one right here. We're going to go in with Daydreamer and that's this right here. And I'm just going to do a pop in the inner corner. I'm not going to do a ton of shimmer today. I do want to show you Mystical though. It's probably one of my favorite foils actually. But do you see how soft and pretty that is? Just really, really easy. And then underneath, you can take that same brush. It's just a small dome brush. Kind of wipe it off on your towel. Now I can go in with um, getting figgy with it and it's a plum color. And if you light smudging color under your lower lash line, you can do something like that. 
I'm gonna do this in steps, you guys, so you can stop at any point with this look, depending on how dramatic you like your, um, your makeup. So you could have stopped after that last step. We can keep going here. But do you see how that's just simple and really easy? Let me put mascara on just so you guys can see. And then I'll keep going. I'll add a little bit more color. And then I'll answer some questions. <laughs> 96, 1960 genius. Nice to have you. Yes, you caught me live. Hi, Angela. Love these colors for blue eyes. Yeah, this will probably work for almost anyone. Honestly, you guys, if you love purples, I really, it's just, look, it's just simple. It's it's simple, but effective. It's color, but it's not in your face. It's very wearable. I would wear this to a business meeting. No problem. And I'm going to, I just want to put mascara on so you guys can see the whole look together. So it feels a bit put together. And then we'll do, um, I'll add a little bit of shimmer for those who like it to be a little more. So simple, right? Took like what, five minutes? Now, if you want to bump it up more, you can go in with a mystical and you can just use your finger. So this is mystical. It's honestly, let's use my ring finger. It's one of my favorite foils. Isn't that really pretty? If you want to bump this up, just start patting it on the lid. Just like that. So it's up to you guys how, you know, how shimmery, how intense, how much time you have in the morning. But to me, that's a very polished look. It's just very simple, very easy. I don't want to do anything complicated today because, I mean, I know we have time because we're sitting at home, but, you know, when we all go back to work, I'm like, I don't got time to be doing all 15 minutes of makeup. <laughs> so there's that one. So do you guys see how the purples, look how my eyes pop on this side compared to this side. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so that is a look just really simple I would do for brown eyes. So now let's go into blue eyes. Okay. So blue eyes on our color wheel is right here. So we've got blue eyes. If you have gray eyes too, this would work because gray is technically in here. So it's still in this realm of color. So if you go opposite of the wheel, this is a complementary color. You wanna stick with the oranges, the kind of coral colors. So that's why I put together this palette for you guys um, because it's opposite of blue eyes. It's gonna make them pop a lot. Now I know I have brown eyes, so it's kind of hard to visualize. Just pretend that this eye is blue. <laughs> Just pretend. <laughs> So in this palette, let me do some swatches so you guys can just see what kind of color story that you're looking at. I have like In the Spotlight, Peach Smoothie, Legend, um, Chickadee, Peach for the Stars. Do you see that color story? Let me kind of swatch them here so you guys can see. So this is the range that you want for brown or for blue eyes, I'm sorry. Some warms and some corals. And then the deeper colors here, I have Brick House, Cheetah Bear. Um, I think this is Give Me the Dirt. Yeah, Give Me the Dirt, which is a really nice kind of warm, plummy brown. So something like this. Think of fall, like a fall palette looks amazing on brown eyes or blue eyes. There it is right there. So pretty. So that is the blue eye palette. Okay, so now let's do a different technique. I'm gonna use the same brush. Let me wipe off my swatches here. Last round, last round, okay. <laughs> Does anyone know what mascara she's using? I am using the L'Oreal Voluminous. This is my favorite mascara of all time. I've been using this since like 2008. It's still around. <laughs> it's one of my favorites, but I just like it because it, I don't know, it makes my lashes seem really thick. I can do a couple coats too. And my lashes have gotten really thin over the years. They used to be thicker, but I did um, lash extensions for too long and they took out some of my lashes. So I'm a little, I'm a little bummed about it. I keep waiting for them to grow back. I'm like, grow back. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take that same brush. This is the It Cosmetics All Over Shadow Brush. It's just a dome shape one. You guys see the shape of that. It's kind of um, flat here, but it's still fluffy enough to where I can get in the crease. I can go all over the lid. It's a really good brush. So I'm gonna wipe that off. We're gonna go in um, with Staycation. So I did kind of an all over the lid here. This one, I'm gonna blend, apply the color more up here. So if you have hooded lids, this technique would be good for you where you have your, um, your color up here. Chrissy's asking, which bronzer do you think I should get? Let me look it up, but if you email my team, they can do some swatches for you. If not, Chrissy, I'll, um, I'll look it up today. Cause I've got them, I don't know if I have them here with me, I should. 
Okay, I'm going in with, this is Peach for the Stars. So I'm going to go above the crease. So if you have hooded lids or you have deep set eyes, if you guys don't know what eye shape you have, watch my video from a couple weeks ago. We went over eye shapes and all of that. So I'm taking Peach for the Stars and I'm going to apply the color up here. So we're doing a different technique. Instead of on the lid, we're going to go up. This is where the party's at, is up here above the crease. <laughs> and I'm just blending this out really soft. And then I'm wipe off that brush. And we're going to go in with peach smoothie, which is a nice kind of peachy color. This will be our blending. I'm going to kind of create a rainbow effect here. And blend it out. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more peach for the stars just to kind of touch it up a little bit and brighten it. Can you do a class on cut crease on different eye shapes? I can. I might have to wait till we're out of isolation so I can get models in here. Because I know I'm trying to demonstrate everything on myself. So once baby's here and we're all back to normal life, I would love to have some models in. <laughs> okay. So there's that, the color there. Now I'm going to go in. If you guys have um, room down here and you feel comfortable wearing color, then I would do kind of the same thing, but smoke it out down here. I'm going to go in with the darker orange color. This is Brick House, and it looks like this. Do you see how it's like a really rich kind of rusty orange? It's really pretty. This looks great in every eye color, honestly, and skin color too. Okay, so I'm going in with um, Brick House. And I'm going to kind of smoke this out here. And then I'm going to go underneath with Chickadee. So we're going to start adding some oranges in here. Just like that. I'm going to wipe off the brush. Let's go in with Chickadee now. And that's this guy right here, kind of an orangey one. And we're going to come under here and really just smoke this out down here. Now, anytime you guys smoke out under your eyes, if you feel like there's kind of a ridge here and it's hard to blend, just go in with a, um, like a little bit fuller dome brush and just take it dry and kind of wipe it in here to get some of that to clean up a little bit. Or if you want, you can go in with a little bit of foundation. I do this trick all the time and I take some on my hand. And what I do is I go in with like a even larger dome brush. This is the one I always use. Where is it at? It's the uh, it Cosmetics brush too. We'll just use this. Yeah, it's, it's Cosmetics. It's a concealer brush. See how big it is? You can go in with a little bit of foundation, kind of get it in that brush, and you could clean up under here. And see how it feathers everything out? Like that. So pretty. Okay. It's up to you guys if you want to do a shimmer on the lid. I know some people like doing all mattes. If you want to do all matte, you can just go in with like, um, let me show you actually. You can go in with a flat brush like this and you could go in with something that's your skin color like um, banana split, so pale vanilla bean, something in here. And you could just apply a matte color if you want it to be very matte like that. I like a little bit of shimmer, so I'm going to um, try to buff this off. And I like um, in the spotlight on the lid. And then I'll show you one other trick for blue eyes that's amazing. You want to wear black eyeliner on the waterline. Okay. Go in with in the spotlight. This is my go-to foil shadow of all time. This and Grandstand and Mystical. Those are my chef's kiss. I love in the spotlight so much because it works on all skin tones. Because it's just a true peachy color. Let me show it on the back of the hand. Isn't that pretty? It's just a really soft peach. So if you just need some shine, but you like warmth, I love this one so much. I go through pans of this every year. Okay, I'm going to put this on the lid. Just like that. You can come up here if you want. It's up to you how much shimmer that you want. If you feel like you've got too much, just kind of blend it in like this. And then I will definitely make sure I answer questions at the end. You guys, if you want me to demo stuff and you have some Q&A, I will definitely leave time at the end of this. So that way I make sure everyone's questions get answered. Okay, so really simple there. Okay, now for blue eyes, you want to make sure um, it's always, unless your eyes are really, really small, if it's small, I would skip this step. Um, but I like putting black eyeliner in the waterline because blue eyes, gray eyes, 
silver eyes are all light. So if you have that pop of dark in here, it makes the blue eyes pop a lot. So I really like doing that um, for blue eyes. Okay, so I'm gonna take an eyeliner pencil. Where did my eyeliner go? Let's so use, whatever, we're gonna use a random one. <laughs> it doesn't matter, because I'm gonna use a gel liner. Okay, so use a gel liner. You can tell I have a hole in the center of it. Do you see that? Because I always, this is my this is my go-to technique. Just take, take an eyeliner. You're going to use it as a tool to dip it in there. Pull it down. We're going to run it in here. And let me put the mascara on too, you guys, because I know it looks really harsh right there. And what you can do too... I'm in a tight line. Do you see how I'm coming up here? I'm taking the pencil. I'm going up there like that, just like that. If you feel like it's too harsh here. Hi, hi Colette, I'm going to um, Tit Makeup School in Seattle. Thank you for your time. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> I will try to go back and comment to you too at the end just because I wanna make sure I, I don't miss anyone. So we're going with the eyeliner there. If you guys feel this is harsh, I'm going to put a little bit of dark shadow right under here so it doesn't feel like it's really soft and then there's a harsh line. So the trick to that is to take a smudger brush. So let me show you what it looks like on the tip. Can you guys see how skinny that is? Find a brush that has a really, really small tip to it. This is where you can go in with this guy right here. Give me the dirt, this dark, dark, rich brown. If you feel like your eyes can handle it and you have room under here and you want to go a little bit more dramatic, you can go up here next to the lash line and smudge it. Do you see how it's softening that liner? It's just a simple step, but look how much softer that is. It feels a little bit more blended. I'm going to pick up a little bit more. Let me know if I'm close enough so you guys can see really well. I want to make sure that you guys can get the full experience here. <laughs> so right there. And then because it's getting a little dark, now you can go back in with that orange and that um, brush we had before, this guy right here. And you can go back in with that original color, which is Brick House. And you can go over it like that. So it does make it a little bit darker under here, but it's gonna make blue eyes. I wish I had this eye was blue so I could show you guys. I'm so sorry, I will do models later. <laughs> so you can see just like that. Okay, let's put some mascara and I'll ask, answer, answer questions. <laughs> Answering questions now. <laughs> All right, so same mascara. I wanna put it on just so you guys can see the effect. And I, shoot, I wish I had my um, lash curler. I need to curl my lashes. When lining inside, sorry, rim, it always collects and I have a black blob in the corner. It can tend to happen. I wish there was a foolproof method around it. It depends on how much your eyes water. If they water a lot or you see that's happening, I mean, the only way that I've gotten it to not be too bad is by doing the gel liner instead of a pencil, but it can sometimes happen. So if that's the case, maybe not line inside the waterline and just do the dark shadow here. That darkness will still contrast with the blue eyes and make them pop. So I would just skip the water lining and uh, just go dark with the, um, the color right here. Just like that. Now, if you guys want to do like winged liner, all that great stuff, I'm trying not to do anything too complicated because I want this to be stuff that's so easy for you guys to just go to work and wear it or you know if you've got a family and they're trying to take your attention away you're like i've got five minutes and do an eye look you can do this really fast so there is for um the blue eyes what do you think okay so i'm gonna wipe because i like this one a lot i'm gonna leave this one we're gonna wipe this off and do the green eyes <laughs> where did the comments go <laughs> uh thanks so much johanna Will you be releasing any shadow similar to Homecoming? I might. I don't know yet. But if I do, we will definitely announce it. <laughs> I know I've had a lot of people like, where's Homecoming? I was like, we got rid of it. <laughs> okay, so when I take makeup off, I just do a, um, 
a cleansing oil from Boots number seven, or there's um, this eye makeup remover um, from Elemis that I really like. And it's this guy right here. It's the white flower makeup remover. I like using that too. So I'm just gonna wipe this off. Can't believe I'm doing this live. You guys get to see my messy. Actually, I'm gonna show you. If you make an eye mistake, let me turn this into a teaching opportunity. <laughs> I'll show you how to clean up. So say you did your eyes in the hot mess and you don't wanna ruin the rest of your makeup. What I do is I just take a sponge. I know it's gonna look crazy for a minute and I clean up in here, and then I put a little foundation on top just to kind of clean it up. So I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a little oily, so I try to get that off. And then I need to get a Q-tip and get in here. So what I do is I take my eye makeup remover, you grab a Q-tip, and why do my comments keep disappearing? <laughs> uh, thanks so much, Victoria from Detroit. Video of which your eyeshadows are cool tone and which are warm. Yes, I will actually show you guys that. We have, um, we actually have some makeup manuals that we're working on the team is doing that you guys can get later on that are really educational, like a lot of great information in there. So we're working on that. Okay, so do you guys see, if you clean up your waterline, just be careful with the Q-tip. And I just do it like that. Do you see all that came off right there? And then go back in with another cotton pad or a little, these doohickeys. <laughs> What do we call them? I'm having brain fart today. This little doodad right here. This little sponge. Okay. So do you see that? Now, because my foundation, everything is off right there. Now I need to, um, I need to touch it up with a little bit of foundation. So use that same technique we did before. And we're just going to put some of that right here. I'm going to pick up some foundation. What colors do you recommend for almost black eyes? Definitely color. If you have really dark eyes, because um, my husband has really dark eyes too. Hoping, I would love for the baby to get his eyes. <laughs> um, you wanna go with purples, teals, plums, silvers, anything like that look really good with dark, dark eyes. Just because it pops. Okay. Do you guys see how quickly I cleaned up that eye? So if you make an eye mistake and your foundation is on, don't freak out. Just take off the makeup and just go in with a, a brush, a little bit of foundation, and just kind of touch it up here. And then wipe off the brush on your towel or whatever you can just to kind of do that color switch. And then set it with a little bit of powder. As you guys know, I use you know one from this row. And I'm just going to set it like that. Just like that. Okay, so now we can do plum eyes. Okay, so let me show you, not plum eyes, plum colors for green eyes. <laughs> Just like this. Okay, how many of you guys have green eyes? Green eyes is a little less common. Absolutely beautiful. Um, this could work for hazel eyes as well. Um, if you have hazel eyes, they're generally in between brown and green. That's what my eyes are. See how they're not dark, dark brown. They're kind of greenish brown. So this palette could work for it as well. So for green eyes, you want to go in with pinks and plums. So I put this together. This is legend. This is the old pan. Let me take it from, I didn't have an extra legend. That's legend. <laughs> We're going to borrow it from the other palette over here. Is this legend? Yeah. So I've got my new square one. There we go. Okay. So this is the palette for green eyes so i like doing some cool tones i like a plum in here i have starry eyed beach please grandstand um pinky promise legend um, you have a couple browns you have berry shady berry shady is really pretty for green eyes see how it's a pinkish color but it's not in your face pink it's just a nice berry color and um, we have give me the dirt again which is a really good like plummy kind of brown and then you have a gray um, take for granted. So I like these tones. The reason why they work is if you go back to your color wheel, here's greens right here. If you go opposite, you have your complementary. It starts taking you into the pinks and plums. You could even do a little bit of purple too. So this is where we like to be for green eyes is in here. So try to choose some of these colors. Okay, so would the green eye palette be a good option for us light olive skin folks? I definitely think so. I really think this palette would be good for a lot of people, you guys. Any of these, I know they're labeled like blue eyes, brown eyes, 
green eyes, anyone can wear them. It's just the color story is the most complimentary for that. So this is kind of our pink tones plummies. Okay, what technique would we like to do? <laughs> I'm gonna go in with that same brush because we are gonna get our money's worth out of our brushes and our product. <laughs> Especially these days, we don't have a ton of money to be spending on all these different stuff. So let's use what we've got. Okay, for green eyes, I love grandstand on the on the lid. It's so beautiful. I love it so much. I'm going to do um, a technique where we'll bring the color in on the lid. It's going to be kind of similar to this. I'm going to do grandstand up here. So let's do berry shady um, just so I can show you guys how to pull off color. So let's do actually, you know what? Let's put berry shady under. No, if we do it under here, let's do it up here. Okay. We're going to just we're going to have fun, you guys. This is live. It's not planned. <laughs> Let me set the lid a little bit more because it's still a little bit greasy. So I'm going to set with a little bit more powder because it'll help everything blend a little bit more. So take, take that powder again. Set it down because we want everything to blend flawlessly. So always, always, always put a little bit of powder down. You don't need a ton, just a little bit. Okay, so all right. So we're going to take our berry color and just pick a spot of where you want it. You can do under the lower lash line if you want. You can do it in the crease. You can do it on the outer corner. I'm gonna do it in the outer corner because I really like the combination of berry with grandstand and I'll show you why. Okay, so I'm going to actually, you know what? Let's do this, you guys. Let's put it all over the lid. Let's do our blowout technique. If you guys don't know the blowout technique, it's one of my first videos that I did that was live. So check that out. Basically, all it is is you take a dome brush, you take a color, and you start on the lid, and you blow it up like this. So you just keep bringing it above the crease, just like that. That's actually really pretty. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I got a little mistake right there. So all I got to do is brush it off with a clean brush. Okay, so pick up some more. I'm gonna switch actually to that brush I was doing earlier, this guy. Let me show you how you can multi-use it. Okay, so buff it right here. And just like that. And we're going to start buffing it upwards. This is a really good technique. If you guys are in a hurry and you want just one color, this looks so good on green eyes. I love it so much. So we're blowing this out. Do you see how easy it's blending because I have that powder underneath? You don't even need a second blending color. All you have to do is just keep buffing this out up here. And you can just keep adding color. So I'm just picking up more of this and I'm doing on the lid, keeping the color saturated down here. And then as I go up, start blending it just like that. Super, super pretty. Gorgeous. What brush is that Vanessa is asking? It is the It Cosmetics All Over Shadow Brush. You can get it at Ulta. Okay, I'm going to go back in with that kind of small dome brush. Let's actually apply the berry shading under here. Let's see what it looks like. If you feel like your eyes can handle it, go for it. If you don't like having shadow under here, skip this step. Just like that. So pretty. I really like that. This might be my go-to look. I love Berry Shady. It's one of my favorite shadows. Okay. Now, remember, you guys, how I said before, if you need to clean up under here and kind of buff it out just like that. Just like that. Okay. A little bit more. Because I really want this to be smoky and blended. Now, if you guys like it like that and it's super, super easy, I would put mascara on this bad boy and go. So let me do it, and then I'll show you how to bump this up with Grandstand. So, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put some mascara on. I know it's hard, you guys, because I can't, I don't have the eye color. So we're going to pretend that this eye's green because <laughs> I can't get models in. We're all isolated. Later on, I will. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Now, if you want to bump this up, what you can do, if you want to turn this from a blowout look to a halo eye, let me show you guys, because I went over the eye shapes. We did a class on this before, so refer back to that if you want. Where is my, there's the inverted halo. 
Do I have my visual? Not really, that's okay. So what I kind of did was a smoky eye technique where it's dark here, but I didn't use different colors. That's kind of what the blowout is. But if you want to turn it into a halo, which is kind of like this, but the opposite, it's gonna be darker on the center. Halo is where you have something on the center of the lid. So I'm gonna take grandstand with my finger and this is grandstand really pretty kind of rose gold color you can put it on the center of the lid just like that and automatically turn it into a halo isn't that pretty if you want to use your finger you can you can use a brush too but see how i'm just putting that on the center of the lid and you can even come up a little bit if you guys want you can come up here Yes, lady snoring. <laughs> oh, Genji, I miss the outer V technique and the damask curtains. I know that's my go to technique. Do you see how that is? And then if you really want to pop that um, halo eye, go back in with the berry shady and put some more color out here and in here. See how it automatically went from a blowout to a um, kind of a halo eye. And then you could clean up up here a little bit. If you wipe off that brush really good, you can go in with Beach Please, which is this guy right here. It's just a really, it's like a soft, cool tone beige. You can take that, kind of clean this up up here. So pretty. So that's pretty much it. What do you guys think? I like that. <laughs> all right, so let me answer some questions for you guys. I hope that gives you some ideas for all the different eye colors. Grandstand is stunning. It is my favorite and it looks good on everyone, like deep skin, medium skin, light skin. My hair started coming out here. Um, can you list the colors in the description box? Yes, I will. So as soon as this post, you guys, I will, um, I take a little pin and pin this. I will list the colors down below so that way you guys can see it. When you're out of isolation, what will you require of a model? For this one, I just need someone that has the right eye color. <laughs> just need someone with blue eyes and then someone with green eyes. <laughs> it's all. <laughs> and someone that's not afraid to be on camera because it's brutal. It's brutal being on camera. There we go. When are you restocking the palettes? Um, we're hoping the end of April um, because it depends on when we can open our warehouse. So it depends on when the virus comes down and all of that stuff. Um, it's so crazy. So uh, thank you so much, Alina. Hugs from New York City. I hope you guys in New York are staying okay. I know it's just insane right now. Ashlyn is asking, what is your favorite setting powder for on the eyes or, you know, under here? Honestly, I just use an eyeshadow. I use one of these, like I use So Pale or Banana Split. Or if you want a loose powder, I really like the... Um, I like the cover FX one. I like the, oh, Laura Mercier is a really good one. Actually, this is my favorite. The Laura Mercier one, loose powder, amazing. I like the Fenty one as well. I have um, the color in banana. This one I have real sand. I really like that one too. What is your advice for hooded eyes? Um, so I did a look, I did a video on hooded eyes. So if you wanna watch that, it's on YouTube. It's a couple videos back. I did a complete video on hooded eyes. I would do that technique that I did where the colors in the crease leave the lid light and shimmery. That looks amazing on hooded eyes. So I love that so much. <laughs> I love this Exodias. Hugs to you and baby Vero. Will you be doing a makeup event in Paris? I would love to. I am dying to go to Paris. I'm hoping if the whole virus stuff comes down, my birthday's in December and my husband and I are really wanting to to go to Paris and hopefully the baby can go too. Um, so maybe December, we'll see. <laughs> Hi from Germany, Karina. Can't wait to get the matrix system. Yes. Rolanda's asking if you are dark skin, then which eyeshadow can be used to set under the eye? Honestly, if you have deep skin, I would go in with a warm brown. I would go in depending on how deep your skin is. Um, if you have really rich chocolate skin, I would go in with like Honey Badger or Cheetah Bear. So let me show you. I would set under there with these two. If you have like kind of a caramel brown color, I would go in a little bit lighter with Creme Brulee. So kind of look at your skin to see how deep it is. I would go somewhere in this row. So Creme Brulee, 
honey badger, cheetah bear, one of these three would be great for under the eyes because it's nice and warm and all of that. So hopefully that one helps. <laughs> Updated brow routine. Let me show you really quick. All I did, you guys, was take the Stila, um, the Stila waterproof brow color, and I took this and I just did, I need to fix right here because it's a little baldy right there. I just go, I do strokes like that. And then what I did, sorry, you guys are getting like, I, I could keep going. I could literally teach makeup for hours. <laughs> what I did is I took some chapstick because I don't have the eye soap, the eyebrow soap that you guys see where it's like a tacky texture. Don't judge me. I got to make work with what I have on hand in isolation. So I took some um, chapstick because it has the texture I need. And I take a spoolie on the end of here and I pick up some of that. I don't use this on my lips. This is dedicated to just brows. Has some of this on there. And then I go up like that. And that's what gets my brow hairs to kind of go up. So that's what I did. I comb it down here. So there's a trick for you. If you need to get your brows to be sticking up, just use some chapstick. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I hope that you guys have fun. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy. I am going to do something really fun for Sunday. So our class this Sunday at noon Pacific Standard Time, we are going to do eyeshadow bingo. It's not really bingo because I don't have bingo cards, but I have all of these glasses. Let me show you. So I have... These all, these all have random eyeshadows by rows of color. And so what I'm going to do is live with you guys on Sunday. We'll just have fun playing with makeup. I'm just going to grab one of the colors randomly, and I'll have to create a look using those shadows together. I'm a little nervous, but it should be really fun. So we're going to do that um, on Sunday at noon. So come back then. We'll do some more tutorials. <laughs> Thanks, you guys, so much. Have a safe one, and I will see you on Sunday at noon. Bye.